What's up, DigiDestins? This is Kyle D, better known as Ride My Avatar. Did you hear the bell? So that means we are going to be going for another beautiful day in the market watch. So without further ado, let's get into the video and talk about all the cards that are going up, shall we? First card we're going to talk about is none other than Imperial Dramon Fighter Mode from Dragonic Roar EX03. Still don't know why all of a sudden people started buying this like crazy. That hasn't even topped once, and I know there are a lot of people supporting and backing it, trying to hype it up, but this deck is not going to do anything. Um, possibility of getting support in the reprint set, but we'll have to see. I don't know. I know that the Sukumon got some support in that set by a new Nonimon, so we'll have to see if they're going to give something to this deck to give it a little extra boost. But I don't know what they could give it that would actually make the deck perform even better. So, first off, TCG Player for its regular art is $30.50 going up. While card market's at $16.95 going up as well. So, kind of expected here. I don't understand why it's holding a $30 range. It was going down. It was pretty solid. It lead down to like $25. Bucks. But then all of a sudden a mass buyout happened. I think that contributed to the fact the they contributed to the fact that we did have the Christmas holiday sale over the weekend. Well, on Friday, last Friday. So that was probably what boosted this numbers a little bit. DG Player for its alternate art, though, is $33.99 going up. While car market's at $19.99 going up as well. So kind of just expected for this right now. I can't see it going up further. I expect this to come back down. People got hyped for it for some reason. I just don't see it holding the value. Next card we're going to talk about is Metallic Dramon Dragonic Roar EX03. TCG player is at $3 going up. Very low quantity, actually. Very surprising to see it at this low. And then card market's at $1.40 going up as well. So I can't get behind why this is going up, even if you're using Dragon Links in Nats. Or even any event dragon links isn't holding enough value to actually make a difference i don't know metallic shaman is good but we'll have to see dg player is at 14.99 going down for the alternate art while card mark is at ten dollars going down as well i can see it going down that's where i expect it i just don't understand why this is at a low quantity for its regular art that is just beyond me to be honest Next card we're going to talk about is Gammon, the official tournament pack volume 5. With the announcement and show off of the new Gammon cards, we are seeing a buy up. People are buying these cards a little bit more. TCG players at $15 going up. So if you have extra copies that you're sitting on, might be worth moving them before, let's say, a reprint card gets shown off. That's the exact same card of this. Because that is a possibility in this Reaper set. It wasn't just limited to promos. We could see a few more promos mixed in. We saw like the Devimon promo that wasn't being played anymore was in this set. So we'll have to see. Card market though is at $4.49 going down. So that's just kind of how it is. This Gemmon is pretty good for what you're getting for what you're going to be playing it in the deck for. Next we have Kanos Wiseman. Alternate art from Cross Encounters BT10. TCG players at $21 going up, while card markets at $9 going up as well. This is because of the Gammon support that is in the in the reprint set. We'll have to see what they do with it more, and I wouldn't be surprised if this thing keeps climbing up. That is just what it's going to be the name and game for that. Next card we're going to talk about is Jellymon Official Tournament Pack Volume 5 as well. TCG players at $5 and 98 cents going up while car market is at three dollars and 89 cents going up as well we're kind of expected that we're going to get you know the jellymon support and then finally the angoro goromon support as well so expect all these official promos if they don't get a reprint in that box this go up pretty quickly i mean they were very easily accessible so we'll have to see and you know what it's going to be like Next card we're going to talk about is Greymon from Starter Deck 11. So this is, you know, the Starter Deck 01 guy for Starter 1, the alternate art. We did get an announcement that we are getting the original art with a 
foiling printing. So now there is now going to be three arts that are foiled. Judge, this alternate art, and then the regular art. So TG players at $38 going up. Card market is at $11.97 going up as well. I mean, yes, the Greymon is getting hyped because Greymon Tribal is one of the strongest decks to be reckoned with right now, which probably means they're going to hit it eventually. I wouldn't get too crazy, but I expect this card to go down a little bit. I know he's very generic with his pluses and stuff like that, but we'll have to see if that holds long game. Next, we do have Lusamon Great Legends BTO4. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because... This card is kind of on the low end. This is a very good value pickup if they don't reprint it. I mean, this will have longevity value, especially once we get the next evolution for Lusamon's final form. This would cause this card to go up exponentially. So TCG players, $11.49 going down. Card market is at $14 going up. While TCG player for its alternate art, though, is at $18.95 going down, while card market's at $21.50 going down as well. So, I kind of see where the alternate is going for, and I wouldn't expect these to get too relatively close. I think maybe this might go down another few bucks, but I think this is worth a small pickup if you just wait long enough. And I'm going to say this right now, if they don't put it in the reprint set, this card will start climbing back up, but if they do, it'll probably tank. So it's one of those gambles that you're going to have to take, but I think at $10, if even if this is goes down to maybe even $8, if you buy it at 10, you lost two bucks, but it would go up because eventually people do collect the OG originals as more coveted than a reprint. So we'll have to see. Next card we're going to talk about is Greymon Alternate Art from X Record BT09. So TCG Player's Alternate Art is at $16.23 climbing back up. This card saw a little spike because we saw not one but two Alphamon tops in the last two weeks. That proved that Alphamon still had some bite in it or bite in it, I would say. The reason why I'm saying this is because if, let's say, the deck does a lot of crazy value, you have some great options. The deck still is an OTK deck. It's still going to have longevity support. But to be honest with you, Great Bond goes out once you see the next Duro Greymon. The reason why I say this is as long as it gives some sort of security plus or maybe even has a small protection skill, we'll have to see. I mean... If you do a reverse Uno reverse on Duro Greymon, make it so that on the evolution gain a security check, but it's inheritable is the protection. You might actually see it come back in full force. And that would be very interesting if that was the case. And then you had to remove sources from this to keep it on the board. So now that like Garumon could try to double bounce it, you know, stuff like that, or just need the X antibody option and it's a one-time protection, and then if they can get rid of it in a second go, you're actually in a good spot. So something to really think about there. Then we do have, next card is Baho Hakman Event Pack 3, Double Diamond. So TCG players at 50 bucks going down, while car market's at $19.90, holding strong there. Nobody really has bought any of them, but it's good to see that they're finally getting some stock on their side, so that we kind of see where the comparison is. I wouldn't be surprised if Baho Hakman is going to come down to maybe 30, 40 bucks. I can't see it holding its longevity value like this. This is kind of quite expensive in my opinion. So I think all in all, great card. Hold off on buying it on our side. Europe side, I think 20 bucks is actually quite acceptable for this card. Next card we're going to talk about is Doro Brickmon Alternar from Dragonic Roar EX03. TG players at 20 bucks going up. Well, car market is at six dollars and eleven cents going up as well. This is probably hype because Duro Brickman has topped not once but twice in the top sixteen in two events. So that's huge for this deck. Why am I bringing this up? Because Duro Brickman 
is a very powerful card and it'll always have support longevity wise and i don't see this thing going anywhere anytime soon i mean it does fall out of favor because it's still a janky deck that bricks a little bit but who knows it could have been just a online special but i'm not going to criticize any player that actually played this deck and got a top with it who knows how online plays happen but well, I'm going to say this right now, Duro Brickmount is a good possible deck for this format, possibly even going into BT11, so it might be worth picking up, but the alternate art is on an up climb. Next card we're going to talk about is Pulsemon from Double Diamond Pre-Release. So this Pulsemon is getting a reprint, so I wouldn't touch these now. At this point, TCG players at 13 holding there. I wouldn't be surprised if it starts ticking down a bit, while card market's at $6 going down as well. I can see both of these being like six, four dollar cards. So very easily just being there. So I think that's very good to look at. Next card we're going to talk about is Gilamon Tamer Evolution Box 02, starter deck 07. So this Gilamon came in that Tamer box. Why am I bringing this up? TCG players at $20.90 going up, while card markets at 14 holding strong. The reason I'm bringing this up is if Nationals is in the same shape and form as last year we should be seeing these these cards as similar to how gaia force was reprinted and stuff like that as entry for the regionals so now you get to play in it and you'll get a couple packs should get like three of them and now you should be pretty solid there i think that's actually pretty solid to think about i think having this card being that stamp version now with the world championships logo on it will make some changes into value here but i expect this is going to be the card they're going to reprint there the Gilmon, the vmon you know the Gunimon, the agumons all that good stuff there i feel like we're going to see that as our entry pack for anybody that made it to nats so Next card we're going to talk about, though, and final card is Vidramon Secret Rare Alternate Art, well, slash regular art as well. Release Special Booster BT01 through 3. TCG player for its regular art is $5.50. Card market is at $7 going down. The reason why I'm bringing this up is that you could play this in all fours Vidramon. That's fine. But this card is probably going to be reprinted, especially if they reprint the Metal Greymon means this should be another secret in the set. Something to keep on your radar and pay attention to. TCG player, though, for its alternate art is at $8 going down, while card market's at $11.81 going down as well. So that's kind of crazy to see that they're a little more expensive than, than us, but hey, that just comes with the territory. What do you guys think of this market watch? Let me know down in the comments. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. You know the you know what to do to help support the video. So without further ado, hopefully you guys stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you next one. Peace.